Hello, friends at Velo Adventures. Or should I say, uh, grinding for our plants uh, that are made of evil uh, people. I, I don't know. That's what we're kind of on at the moment. So what I've done is I've just like basically uh, boogied around this map and uh, was like, you know what? Let's just get the ones up there as well. So, you know, a total of 36. That's pretty good. So we'll, we'll gather those. Then we'll come... Uh, uh, I can see, I guess I could have just gone up there. So what I was trying to do is just like, okay, how do we expedite this? So we're at 800 now. That's 18 there. Yeah, it's not bad. Come on. For some reason now, it's uh, getting kind of weird, but the, uh, the tool is getting kind of sticky. It's a bit strange. It doesn't want to use the scythe. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so 33 there. So it yeah, definitely takes a little bit less time. Um, so whatever we're at now, 8... 831. Hey, Assassin, how's it going? Yeah, it works better. I wonder if it's, he's better to go that path. For some reason, it loaded in better when I'm... Oh no, see. Like, why is my. That's really bizarre. Uh, there we go. Yeah, it's kind of acting a bit funny. Um, and then, you know, there, there wasn't enough really to warrant, I don't think, taking these things out. <laughs> okay, let's see. What do we get? Three. And another, so four on top. And I could go and get the other stuff that's like, it's just a question of like how, how far do you want to travel to get a couple? We'll be at 900 here in a second. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is one of those tasks that I've, uh, uh, I, I don't think shine well on the game. <laughs> I think if somebody were to, uh, if this was their first episode, they might look at this and go, I don't know. This is a little bit tedious beyond measure. Come on. Yeah, again, I'm, I'm not, there's no cooldown on this. Like, I'm not sure why it's giving me guff using the tool. No idea. Um, and then I guess we'll... We'll come and get these other few here. So 36 total. So we're at 909. I'm gonna go this way this time. This is giving me guff the other direction. Um, so yeah, we, uh, this should be about it, shouldn't it? Uh, maybe we'll do this one one time, then we'll switch out to do something else. The last view. I did wanna kinda of see if the beach had any issues. And then, uh, Let's take these things out. As difficult as they are, glad we, we got those. Yeah, see, it's only seven, so it's like, is it worth doing? Oh, come on, really? <laughs> yeah, it genuinely does not want to do scything. I don't even understand. Like, okay. Dude, <laughs> now it's okay. Yeah, it's it's acting totally super buggy. I've overloaded the game. I think <laughs> game is like nope, can't do this anymore. Sorry, you've uh, you've broken me. Okay, we're at nine hundred forty-nine. Okay, I'll get these ones. Nine hundred sixty-one. Yeah, so I wanted to see if uh, there was a, a beach issue as well. Maybe there isn't, but I thought for the heck of it, let's go double check and see if there's anything else happening. Uh, 
Okay, so they're uh, maybe they came and murdered everything because the the penguins are doing their job. Um. Okay. No, it doesn't seem like there's. Although no, we got to get over to the other side where there would normally be some stuff, don't we? This is a little bit out of control. Okay, someone's washed up on shore. Oh, we're gonna meet a new character. They're still breathing. Shoo, crab. Are you all right? Huh, where am I? Who, uh, who is pinching? So, that's better. I must apologize. This isn't normally how I prefer to meet a new friend, says Kai. Uh, Naga. Okay, so they're a snake creature. Um, Sunhaven. Sounds distantly familiar. Western region. Four regions? Are you okay? Forgive me, my head's a bit foggy. Okay, so is this leading me to finding out about the fourth region? Uh, okay, so they're going to do their thing. Yeah, I get the sense. So if there's if there's a fourth region, ah, there we go. A stranger in town. Okay, so no, none of the evil is over here. Uh, entered an old seaside cave. What? <laughs> oh, it's an, okay. It's Kai. What are you doing in the cave? Oh, I'm just setting up camp. Uh, I'm lost, this is what Naga do. Uh, maybe now um, they discovered wreckage. I was on a ship at sea, the ship crashed, that's all I remember right now. Are you staying uh, close for the moment at least? Tell me Sunhaven is friendly? It's very friendly. I figure as much, but it never hurts to ask. Thanks for giving me the lay of the land. It's good to know I'll be taking refuge in a place that's friendly. Don't worry about me, Naga are born survivalists. Believe it or not, we lived in much worse conditions than a warm seaside cave. I didn't give you my name, did I? Perhaps I forgot my manners as well as my memories. I'm Kai. Hey, I remember my name. That's helpful. Would you give me a name? Your name? Uh, good. Okay. All right. So. <laughs> I like the arrow. Definitely, there's a lot of signs that are like, please, please, sir, go, go in the cave, sir. Go, go in the cave. This old couple here, what are they? Uh... I don't know <laughs> what they're doing here. You guys heard this whole place is being corrupted by evil, right? No. So it would seem like the beach, at least, uh, tourism was not hit um, by any of the problems here. So that's good to know. I was kind of curious about that. Oh man, turtle, seriously. So yeah, my beach cleanup adventure. Oh, there we go. We've leveled up our exploration. It's like it doesn't give you a ton, but boy, in the early game, I'm guessing that makes a big difference. Okay, oh, there's a mana tome there too. It's just laying around everywhere. And now they're just chucking mana at us. <laughs> it doesn't feel that important. Okay, I guess I should go and check my skill tree. That's the hint I'm getting from the game. Exploration, and I was working on... Uh, I guess I don't really care about that. Um, you can use tools while mounted. Oh, uh, chopping down a tree gains uh, 0.1 maximum mana. Yeah, sure, let's, let's go with anything that gives us mana. We're 324. I mean, the mana comes in pretty fast now. <laughs> So I don't even know what your upper, like, what's a reasonable amount of, like, mana in this game? Like, what's your ceiling? Okay, so we're at 978. 988. 99, oh, there we go. Okay, meet Lucia at the train station. 
Well, I'm glad we checked out uh, the beach, at least. I was kind of curious if there was more. So it is just this forest area. Well, that was so tedious. Um, definitely could use less of that. I, I don't know if it, again, I've, it, it, it's hard to feel that it's anything but padding in the, in games when they do this. Like even all this, like, <laughs> I didn't even notice there was this much in town. This is like even way more. I guess it gives you a sense that you're doing something, but honestly, like, it's pretty, uh, pretty dry. Hey, gang. And now I don't even know how many I've gotten. <laughs> okay. Up to the train station we go. Um, so yeah, I mean, if there's another uh, area, it could be interesting to see what they do to slow us down there. Here's all the thousand. Oh my, I didn't expect to bring me all that since you must have been busy. Great work. There should be more than enough to create a powerful word. Give me space, everyone. Okay, it's some, some bananas is going to happen here. Okay, there it is. Shazam. Whoosh. Darkness has been dispelled. Okay, so now we're going to get uh, back a cutscene on the areas we saw loaded up. Well, yeah, I cleared this area. I should hope it's totally doing fine. Again, we, we cleared this area. Yep, it's looking good. Your ward didn't do this. We did this. I know every time I turn my back, it grew in again, but still. I think we'll take credit where, you know... Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, we, we're familiar. All right, so... Now that we've established that... Did the ward work? Yes, I believe so. Anything comprised of the essence I used in the ward should be unable to set foot in Sunhaven. Great work, Lucia. Thanks, Hodge. Admittedly, my arms feel like pudding after channeling so much magic, but I'll survive. No, but never mind that. Now that Sunhaven is safe from invasion, we must turn our attention to converging, convincing Withergate that we must have peace. Let's all meet back at... Wait, who's that coming up the road? Claude? What's wrong? Is there trouble somewhere else in town? What? No, nothing like that. I noticed the darkness monster has been driven out of Sunhaven, so he must have completed the ward spell. I took a guess that Hodge will be here with you. I came here to give them something. Relations between Withergate and Sunhaven have gotten bad. I can't help but feel there was something we could have done to stop that from happening. I'm not sure what you mean, Claude. What could you have done? I'm from Withergate. Dun dun dun. I mean to say that I lived there for a time before I moved to Sunhaven. Claude, that was your secret. It's okay, I'm tired of keeping it a secret. If I had just been honest from the start, maybe relations between the two cities could have been better. That is certainly quite a surprise to learn, but I don't blame yourself, Claude. None of this was your responsibility. But, but, maybe, but still, Withergate was my home just like Sunhaven is. I'd like to see neither of them harmed. Here, if the royal family wants proof that Sunhaven can be a friend, I'm sure this will suffice. A paper? It's the original copy of my concerto. Tell them it's an offering of peace. It will mean something to them, I'm sure. On behalf of all Sunhaven, thank you, Claude. I'm certain your concerto will certainly make a fitting gift for Withergate's rulers. There's something more I can give you as well. This is a little short notice, but since we're all in the moment, Lucia reaches into her robe producing a well-used quill and a scroll of parchment. In a matter of moments, right there in the dusty field, she scrawls one of the most beautifully scribed letters you've ever seen. Reading it as quickly, reading it quickly once over, she nods and seals the letter with a stamp of wax. Here, this is an official proclamation of peace. Please take to Withergate's rulers. I will see that it gets to Withergate. Well then, it seems everything is taken care of. I should go throughout the town and ensure everyone is safe. Best of luck. We know you can do it. Everyone else returns your posts. You heard the Archmage. Move out. Alright, that's... Me and the Claude. So, Catherine managed to get through the barrier after all. Ha, <laughs> so I was wrong. Her power is impressive. Seems it truly is. I suppose an apology is in order. But don't worry about that. It's time for you to get back to Withergate. Oh, and thank you for all you've done. For everyone. Okay. Uh, again, I'll just take fishing XP. Thank you. Okay, that's cool. So, we gotta go to Withergate. Uh, bananas. Gotta go. No, not here. Up here. 
Hey, you turkeys. Since our way is being blocked by a snake coon at the moment. I feel like if we had snake coons blocking our paths all the time, they probably would be extinct. Like, I don't think people would put up with it for too long. At first you'd be like, oh, that's cute. And then by day like four, you'd be like, all right, I think we're going to be eating snake coon for dinner tonight. Uh, kids, just don't ask questions about where dinner came from. It's, uh, it's, it's just don't ask questions. Sorry, buddy. I, I should be feeding you. I know. All right. At least we can hop fast and use up as uh, little mana as we do in the process. Let's go to uh, Withergate Apartments. Okay, let's go up to the lobby. So I'm going to find Darius. So I don't know if Darius is going to be... I'm assuming he'll be up at the castle, but he might just be wandering around town. Loitering, as it were. Alright. I'm not going to bother collecting anything. We're just going to head up. We don't need any stuff. We have enough garbage in our life. It's so readily available. Okay. So, yeah, Darius better be here. It's quite a trip. Quite a journey. It took us minutes. So, uh, again, I don't know if we go to Darius's room here. Okay, so we can't go to Darius's chambers. Okay, we can't go to the altar room. Is Darius in the throne room? Uh... Let's just leave. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Oh, right. And there was some, was, there was chess up here, wasn't there? Not in that one. I don't know if we have keys to do anything important. No, I need a sunny key for that. And oh, it did get, see, I got like two grand and some gold bars there. So, I mean, I guess they won't even notice. <laughs> it's a disappointment. Okay, so, uh, question is, where is Darius? See, I don't, Darius doesn't, like, just appear on the map. So I might have to, I mean, imagine he'll be going home, right? Oh, there he is, okay. What is it? I'm busy. <laughs> Peace offerings from Sunhaven. Huh. Well, there's no need to bother my father when he's so hard at his kingly work. I'm willing to look over your little tokens of peace. Meet me at the foyer of Withergate Castle. I'll be waiting. Oh my gosh. It's like, dude. <laughs> I'm assuming this is the foyer. There we go into an antechamber. Let's, uh, let's do some talking. Light a fire. So you actually showed up. I hope these offerings won't waste my time. Well, let's see what you have. I offer this proclamation from Sunhaven's leader. Let me see that. 
Lucia, a human archmage. Interesting. Her work, words are so well written. If nothing else, perhaps someday I will be able to meet this archmage for myself, so I might properly judge a character. But until then, these are just words on paper. Sunhaven has never trusted a monster kind before. Am I expected to believe a single piece of parchment changes any? I also have... And then Darius looks over at Claude's concerto, scanning the paper up and down. A brief flurry of emotions pull his face in a different direction. For a moment, he seems at a loss. How did you get this from Claude himself? It's a peace offering. Claude, living in Sunhaven? I would call him a traitor, but Claude is too brilliant to do something as stupid as betray his own kind. To imagine that our grand composer left for Sunhaven of all places. Dot dot dot. I don't know why Claude chose to leave with a gate in order to live in Sunhaven, but it doesn't matter. There must be something redeeming about your little human town. And then he goes, like, so your true motives finally come out. I don't know, whatever they were. There's one thing I want to know. Do you really think you can stop Dinus? I know I can. You won't get anywhere uh, but crushed underfoot if uh, you approach Dinus with anything other than that attitude. Oh, very well. I will vouch for you to my father. The gateway to Dinus' sanctum is the northernmost door in the castle. Good luck with the moon dragon. You're going to need it. Okay, so we got bonus health. Or bonus mana. I'm going to take the bonus health. That's, uh, and we got 100 XP as well for combat. All right, into Dinus's altar room. Dun, dun, dun. Altar Keeper. Oh, hello. Are you here to make an offering to the Moon Dragon's good graces? Oh dear, that must mean you came here to fight the Moon Dragon himself. Well, thank you for letting me know. It's always easier to clean up his challenges when I have a warning. Dinus is in the next room straight ahead. And allow me to extend my sympathies for your eminent loss. As you can see, this is the altar room. These are the altars which uh, peasants such as yourself may bring, present offerings to the Moon Dragon in an attempt to gain his blessing. Oh no. Simply place a tribute in the correct altar and Dinus shall receive it when the altar is full. When you're ready, Dinus is in the room straight ahead. Be warned, none yet have made an offering that the Moon Dragon is deemed satisfactory. <laughs> Finally, let me show you how to use the altar. Check the altar to see what you need for this offering. Okay. So basically... <laughs> basically, it's just another museum. Oh my gosh. Really? This is, this is fantastic. Okay, so it's just going to take me like a million years. I see they give you some clues at least on it, so I'm not going to have to do all this to, okay. I don't have 10,000 coin at the moment. I don't have any of that. Uh, oh yeah, okay, here's the fish collection. Five thousand tickets. I do not have five thousand tickets. And the other option here is stuff I also don't have. Oh my gosh, this is so. Oh what? <laughs> King's lost mine key. Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> can they put a bed here so I can just sleep? Mine, dine, repeat. Oh, here we are. Dinus, I can sense your tenacity. Ah, Elias' pupil, I've heard of your accomplishments. Now you've finally come. You took your time. Now that you're here, what does he want? Why are you spreading darkness? He came all this way to ask me that? What a waste of time. The monsters of the world thrive in darkness. They need a home, and I need an empire. It's my responsibility to share Withergate's prosperity with the world. Soon there will be a new world order under me, under darkness. Your empire will never grow past Withergate. It is the na nature of an empire to grow, but even if the people of Sunhaven will learn to like the dark, you, like all the others, are powerless against my will. Your resistance is a mere joke. I'm here to stop your spell. Of course you are. Why else would Elio send a hero? Although he shouldn't have sent someone bigger, you will crumble to my might. I want to make an offering. Ah, uh, you would barter for the human town? Perhaps you aren't such a fool after all. Go on then, make an offering. Return to me when you've made your offering, but I know the price of my satisfaction is steep. Uh, we should just said fight. I'm gonna guess that wasn't really a true option. Okay. How much offering do we need? Oh my god. <laughs> Please. Make it stop. You returned. Um, 
you ask for me to stop spreading darkness. What a ridiculous request. I'm Dinus, Moon Dragon, and Guardian of Withergate, and you are nothing but a fool. I have an offering for you. He's assessing. Assessing. What do I do? I give you some quality fruit. So. Oh, I don't know what just happened. Oh, I passed out? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. All right, well, that was wild. Yeah, it hit 12 o'clock just as I was being assessed. So I think that, I hope that didn't mess up too much. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, we'll find out next time. See you all then. Bye-bye.